Hi, this is Reasons Are Several, episode number 197. My name is Matt. With me is Neil. Thank you for not mimicking me, Neil. How are you doing? At Angels Freak 7 on Twitter. <laughs> At Reasons Are <laughs> on Twitter. You like that? Please talk to us. Thank you so much for listening, everybody. I am doing fantastic. It is just a good day to be alive. It is. Although, still, this voice is very fragile. It's been like six weeks for you. Kind of like that, yeah. Still in Peter Brady mode, so I apologize to everybody who has to deal with that. You You know what we have coming up? Episode 200. We do. Do you want to tell people about it? I do. We're going to record an episode 200. Mm -hmm. Next. (laughs) <laughs> no, <laughs> we're gonna do. We're gonna get through this we, show in about four minutes. Right. We're gonna do a live show on February third at three p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and we'd like you to join us and hang out with us and text, maybe call in, maybe be part of the chat room, maybe just listen live. Uh, send in a bunch of questions beforehand, of which we'll answer live on the air. Reasons are comments. several at gmail dot com. Send in audio clips. Mm-hmm. Send in your used undies. <laughs> sure. Yeah. We'll take that. By the way, the live uh, episode will be recorded on Mixler. So if you're not familiar with them, M-I-X-L-R, you need to go out there. I think you have to have an account to get into the... Don't you? Or can you I view so. it as a guest? I don't know. Probably views it as a guest. I'll check it out so we can give you more information. But I will also put something up on our Twitter feed and on the website that just calls attention to it so people know how to, uh, to do that. And so it'd be great if you could join us for that. It'd be a lot of fun. Um, and if you get in the chat room, might also be able to answer your questions live kind of on demand. Just have you be part of the show. Just be part of the show, man. Yeah. And And then we're going to record a second part of it just with the two of us in a dark room staring into each other's eyes. Well, it depends eyes. how good the live, go sh- live show goes. It might, <laughs> we might just figure it's gold and be like, that. it could, Let's get it, it could be, it could. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. Anyway. Yeah. How about that fucking, those conference championship games? That was insane. Can you believe I mean, it? it kind of played out how I thought it would. Yeah. Uh, I did not see, I mean, the scores were a little different, but I did not see the, uh, Jaguars, Blake Bortles, uh, 17 time lateral where he ends up scoring the winning touchdown in triple overtime. Right. Triple overtime. Right. Yeah. Or him kicking the 60 yard field goal to tie it, to put it into overtime. The Bortles Bortles is the man. He is. He should yeah. run for president. I mean, he's, I was a little surprised hot. though that the day, I mean, cause you know what? The games were what two days ago. So I'm a little surprised that they fired uh, Belichick and Brady quit so quickly. Right. Um, I, you and know, Kraft think, sold the team. Yeah, it was. Uh, <laughs> Kraft sold it to Heinz. It was weird. Um, and then on the other side, Whoa. who saw that Teddy Bridgewater was going to get signed immediately by the Eagles on the day of the game mm-hmm. in a really weird transaction and end up winning the game for the Eagles? Well, I mean, I, I knew that the Eagles were going to win, but. Right. Throwing. A bomb down the sidelines to win the game for the Eagles. Well, to which I thought was funny because the the center declared eligible as a downfield receiver, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and uh, man, that was some that was a talk about a tight, fast, skinny post. Yeah, you had it had it <laughs> going, threw everybody <laughs> off. Yes. Anyway, that shapes up for quite quite the Super Bowl: Jacksonville, Philly, yeah, Bridgewater v. Bortles. <laughs> I don't know if Bridgewater will be able to play though. I mean, he looked he, he looked hurt at the end. Yeah, but Bortles well, Bortles will be there. And I I think you saw they signed Manziel to the practice squad, so he might be coming it in. Is. Oh, that's a good. I that's right. Who do you think? So let's do our final pick for the Super Bowl. Okay, I think I think it's Bridgewater to Manziel to win it seven to nothing. So you're okay. No, I'm still I'm sticking on the Jacksonville train. I'm saying I'm still going. Three seven Jacksonville. Three seven. <laughs> Bortles scores all the points because he's going to play the second half for the because Bridgewater is going to oh, get hurt. He's going to kick the field goal for yeah. Philly. Yeah. Oh, they're going to swap at half. Just to be fair. Oh, that's yeah, that's nice. yeah. So. <laughs> oh man, can't wait for this. We'll we'll know the we'll know what happens when we when we record the live show. Yeah, we will. I just I, I thought it was cool. I mean, we'll know what happens with the Super Bowl when we record the live show. Right, exactly. Yeah. I th- I thought it was cool though too that, like, as a nod 
to yesteryear, Philly brought Scott Norwood in to kick field goals, but it was really sad to see him miss three straight field goals. <laughs> <laughs> what did what did what was a little hard though was because you know everybody was so bummed about Brady getting cut right after the last game <laughs> that all the players wore twelve. So it was really hard to see. It was hard to keep track of who's who. Yeah, yeah. it was it was insane. All the twelves. It was like it was like 12. watching a goddamn sea of the fans and the they Seahawks. were the twelfth man. Oh. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> should we so, talk about NASCAR? Uh, we absolutely can if you'd like to. But I kind of well, thought there was more highlights. On your beauty marks, it's time for the NASCAR minute. <laughs> That fart in there gets me every time. <laughs> I feel like he could have used the kickstart my heart, maybe. Yeah. The brun, brun, doesn't that oh, start? that the motorcycle. Or no, that's girls, girls, girls. Girls, girls, girls. Yeah, Woo! see? Maybe that's that's an idea. We're just planting At the that dollhouse seed out in there. Fort Lauderdale? Right? Right. Skydive naked from an aeroplane? Oh, wait, that's not. <laughs> Skydive. That's, that's kickstart my heart. <laughs> Would you like to start with NASCAR or beauty? Let's go. Good. So let's go with beauty. <laughs> so if you're applying bronzer, do oh not God. apply it all over, but you want to apply it like in the number three around the side of your face where the back of the three would be your hairline. Sure. And the points, the angry parts of the three would be going towards your nose. Okay. So you, so you start at like your eyebrow. Draw the three back by your temple, uh-huh. then come forward around your cheek bones, then back down around your chin. Okay, I just I, I just don't need, apply it all over, people. I just a peek behind the curtain for for folks. Yeah, you are missing out because I am hard <laughs> as a rock watching him <laughs> maneuver the fingers all over his face. <laughs> so, oh my dear! There you go. Is it bad for me to bring up taint two weeks in a row? Don't bronze <laughs> your taint. Oh my. <laughs> Yeah, pro- <laughs> most taints are probably a little bronzed on their own if you know what i'm saying <laughs> do you do a three down there whoa <laughs> whoa jesus more yeah, of a maybe c go, it's more of a c say, maybe around an the, eight, yeah. an eight. Uh, <laughs> so moving on to uh the vehicle portion of this segment sure dale jr is interested in owning a piece of the panthers oh yeah i think that would be good for NASCAR. How is that going to work? And who, who is he going to come together with? Because I've heard all these reports of like Steph Curry's interested. Remember, uh, Puffy was interested. All these well, people they could have been make, They could make one uh, like business where they all put into that. And then that is like a 25% owner. And they, but they all have a stake in that business. Yeah, I guess so. I, w- I was listening to. Um... You're the finance guy, Matt. It's not <laughs> fucking rocket science, bro. <laughs> I was listening to another come podcast. On, Captain. I was listening to another podcast called The Chicken Social. Dark Angels of Pretty Feats. No, but that yeah. is a good show. Now, there's a show called The Chicken Social, which we had Shaw from The Chicken Social on this show, and I was on their show once. Um, and they talked about this several weeks ago, and they brought up good points, which is, first of all, it's it's a fuck ton of money you got to have. Like, So when they right. talked about like Puffy wanting to buy them, it's like, you don't have that much money, man. No. And then the second thing is, the the weird fraternity that is the NFL ownership, they don't just mm. let anybody buy a team. Like you got to have more than just the money. Like you got to fucking convince them that you should be allowed to buy a goddamn team. Yeah, and, and you, you got to get approved. You usually have to be like a uh, a certain color too. That is also that could also be a hindrance, unfortunately. But yeah, I just I I would be surprised. I mean, that's cool that he's interested. But yeah. I would be surprised if you could pull that off because that's that is a ton. Well, because of money. think of the Steelers, right? I mean, Rooney owns. What is it, fifty-one or fifty-two percent? And then there's a bunch of minority owners. Yeah, there's like six hundred of them. Is there that many? No, <laughs> I was no, gonna say. I, I there's a few though. There's it, it's it's more than one and probably less than twelve. Hmm. So I and I said and uh, and I said and like I said, a lot of these people can get together and pool their money and have and be one minority owner business. But Rooney, correct me if I'm wrong, founded. The Rooney family founded the Steelers, correct? They did, but then they sold off interest. I, I know, I understand, but I'm just saying they started the fucking organization. If you're coming in, oh, so you're just saying he wants to be minority owner. If the, there's an established owner for Carolina, he could buy into that. Is what That's you're saying. exactly gotcha. what I Gotcha. Okay, said. okay, okay. Owning a so- piece of the Panthers. It was in you, the sentence that I said. I understand. I is it going to be like this I all goddamn show? I just, I my thoughts get in my head and you start talking and <laughs> I, I get about four words listening. into a sentence and I start talking again. <laughs> 
Your voice is grating. I don't, oh my God, I'm just trying to nerves. cut you off. I don't like listening to you talk very much. Anyway. Uh, they're also doing, which I think this is cool, the world's largest Daytona 500 watch party returns to Texas Motor Speedway. I think this is cool. So uh, they play the Daytona 500 on the Texas big screen, and uh, last year they had more than 3,000 campers there to watch the Daytona. Oh, my God. Well, you see this to a degree when, like, um, a team's on the road in a, you know, playoff series or something. Right, and, and they open up the home they'll, stadium. Yeah, they'll right. open up the home right. stadium arena and the fans right. will watch. So it's similar to that. Similar. And I assume... But it's NASCAR. It's not a sport. <laughs> true. But it's also, I assume, because it's, you know, so tailgate heavy, those people probably show up two days early for this thing, even though they're going to oh, be I, watching it on TV. And, I, and I'm sure knowing, knowing Texas Motor Speedway that they have a bunch of stuff going on. Right. So there's attractions to be had and rodeos you can dr- yeah you can drive on the track i'm Cow sure there's tipping. a country music concert right guaranteed yeah at least one exactly god shoot <laughs> <laughs> is that all you got uh, that's all i need all right bronzer and <laughs> the Texas number three way the there number three and and dale and the panthers and dale and the panthers you mentioned that too fuck chock I'm, full of stuff this nascar i'm, I'm a nut you are you know what else? I want to talk to you about movies. Oh, oh shit. What the fuck is this? Wheels. Neil. Water. Did you know there's another Fifty Shades movie coming out in February? No. Why do they keep making these fucking movies? I guess they, they just sell. wrote all those books, right? Yeah, and because they all... people go see them. Do they? Yeah, and sadly, I think it's like, I know that pr- predominantly it's women that go see these movies, and I think it's it, it like they have these passions and desires inside, and they don't feel comfortable talking to their husbands about it. Go That's freaking, sad. It is. You want a freaking dildo in the butt, woman? Tell your husband. Do you get think, after it? Do you think husbands you are up? intimidated? by this when their wives go to see this like they're like oh no they're not satisfied in this relationship and i thought oh, I just jamming not. it that's in there very, was enough but clearly <laughs> jamming it in there not enough. i hope not <laughs> and i hope i hope guys would be in tune enough that if if women are really into this movie to say hey you know you want to you saw the movie anything you saw that maybe you'd like to try it out try and they're like almost everything just not with you which do you think would be most <laughs> which do you think would be more helpful going and seeing this together or talking about it afterward or Getting the orgasm. Uh, I'd say talking about it are afterwards and the orgasm. Don't go see it together because people, you know, because let you her don't enjoy. Want, it. Right, and like if you maybe a guy is like super into this one thing, and the girl's like, "Oh God, I'm not talking to him about this stuff after." But if, if or he's or he's elbowing her the whole time, going, "Huh? Yeah, huh? yeah." <laughs> yeah. Just like mom told us. Um, <laughs> so, but yeah, come on, people. If you have desires, just have a conversation. You're not getting it anyway. Mm-hmm. So why not just talk about it? Because maybe you will. Communication is important. Especially about the sex. Don't let those things fester. Uh, don't <laughs> don't let any of those things fester. Is that old timey? That, a little. Yeah. That's a new segment we have. Festering? Is that old timey? Is that old timey? <laughs> just a picture of you. <laughs> a picture of you yelling at a kid on your lawn. Is that old timey? Furrowed brow. There you go. Anyway, I just I keep seeing these Fifty Shades movies coming out, and I'm just curious about them. All right, maybe I should go check them out. I'm so mm. curious. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we got some movies to go through here. You ready? Okay. Okay. Just for anybody who doesn't know, Neil has already is already well aware of all these movies I'm going to list, and he's going to share the plot mm-hmm. after I mention. The I title. may have even directed a couple of them. Could be. First up, Black Panther. Oh. <laughs> this is about this is about the uh, the the fragrance that um, they had in Anchorman. Mm. That so this is how it was originally developed, uh, how they brought it to market. I mean, it's a success story on so many levels, and then it actually ends with him using it in Anchorman. Uh, it stars Sylvester Stallone. Oh, and Dolph Lundgren. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah, and um, uh, what's his name? Uh, George Lopez. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's an all male. It's an all male cast. 
And What's his name? George Lopez. <laughs> yes. And they they play uh, all the characters, only three of them, and they play every single character, male, female, young, oh, old, whatever. So who plays Christina Applegate? No, no, George no. Lopez. This is George like, Lopez. Oh my, my God. The, you only see the scene where he applies it. That's the end. Oh, okay, okay. Matt, gotcha. you're not listening. This is about bringing it to market. No, I knew that, but then I thought wow. you actually dipped into the Anchorman set a little bit, but clearly not. This is not. directed by Sorkin. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> Too wordy. <laughs> Too wordy, yeah. Okay. Well, that is interesting. Yeah. I look you forward to see that. It? Yeah. Nice. Sure. Nice. I mean, to see Lundgren and, and Stallone reunited. Right. Like, yeah. This uh, al- alternate universe movie, Black Panther, is directed by Ryan Coogler. Oh, the Coog. Who did Creed. RC. I love that movie. Freaking Coogle Jugle. And Fruitvale Station, as well as others. This is produced by Kevin Feig, who does all the fucking Marvel it's shit. It's not nice, man. He Kevin can, Feig, he can love Feig. whoever he wants to love. This stars Chadwick Boseman, Michael B. Jordan. Uh, Lupita, Lupita Nyong'o, Denai Guerrera, Guerrera, sorry, Guerrera, sorry, I slaughtered that one. Martin Freeman, Angela Bassett, Forrest Whitaker, Andy Serkis, and on and on and on. It's a huge, huge cast. I am so into this movie. You know this what this is about. Oh, yeah. Okay. After the events of Captain America Civil War, which I feel like a lot of movies lately have that precursor. Mm-hmm. Everything ha- comes after Civil War. Yeah, because he was introduced in Civil War. Okay, gotcha. It's King T'Challa. Mm-hmm. Right, returns home to Wakanda. It's like when... King Chahala. <laughs> Chahala <laughs> uh, returns home to Wakanda, but but when two enemies conspire to bring down the kingdom, to to Chahala must team up as the Black Panther with CIA agent Everett K. Ross and members of the Dora. Oh my God, I don't know how to say that. Malaji. Dora Wakanda... Borealis. Dora Malaji. I'm gonna say that Wakanda's special forces to prevent a world war. Oh, there is a lot of shit going on in this trailer. Yeah, and I don't understand any of it. But his because freaking outfit is wicked. His yeah. outfit's wicked, and I love me some Michael B. Jordan, and he looks pretty fucking dope in this. So I'm I will watch this movie, and I don't ever watch Marvel movies. Well, I saw is Spider Man <laughs> Spider Man's Marvel. He's such an old man. I never watch. Well, I don't. Except Spider Man's Marvel, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I saw that one, but I don't usually watch them. So I'm going to watch this. Black Panther for sure. Black Panther. I'm in. I'm in too. All All over it. You're going to watch both of them. The fragrance one and this one. Mm -hmm. (laughs) All right. Next up. Ready? Mm Mm-hmm. Winchester. (laughs) So this is about... You've played Monopoly, right? (laughs) Yes. (laughs) So you know how there's the community chest? Mm Mm-hmm. Well, where did that come from? Winchester. Guy named Winchester. <laughs> and community chest from Winchester. Yeah. Okay. Um, and so this is this is gonna be the story about how they came up with that design to put on the Monopoly board. Mm. And uh, <laughs> Sounds no one thrilling. No one really <laughs> knows what Winchester looks like. <laughs> and the last scene of the movie is him on the set of Anchorman. Got it this ties into the other one? Yeah. Oh dude. <laughs> It's all part of the it's all part oh of God. the Black Panther universe. Synergy. Yeah. <laughs> so it, it, there's a there's a whole backstory between cuz they originally the chest wasn't going to be a chest it was going to be a box then they were going to have a sack or a satchel for <laughs> okay. you people. Yes, yeah, sure. And and With then and Winchester was like, "No, we're putting a chest." And everyone's like, "What's a chest?" And so he had to draw he had to design the whole thing and show them and they were like that's a chest. And everyone's like, I thought this was a chest. You know, give them a hard time like, right. pointing to their boob. Like, this is a chest. Yeah. No, that's a chest. <laughs> and get this. It's a community chest. Yeah. <laughs> is this movie about the Winchester movie, Mystery House? It is. God. That's you know what this. I was going to go with. And I'm like, nah, that's probably, that's too on the nose. You got, you got it. Yeah. That's what so it that's is. So that's why I had to rewrite the movie. You did. But there was a long pause there mm-hmm. where the gears were turning. Because I knew, I'm like, ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> Uh, this is directed by the Spirig brothers, Peter and oh, Michael. Yes, Peter and Michael. You remember Spirig. when we hung out with them that time in yes. Arizona? Right? Yeah. God, Aren't you going to Pe- go see them in a week? Peter is so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <coughs> he, doesn't listen, he doesn't listen to the show. Eat that Peter guy. This stars Helen Mirren, Jason Clark, Sarah Snook, and Angus Sampson. Oh, Angus. Sarah Winchester. Prime piece of meat right there. Mm. Oh, boy. Sarah Winchester. He said it. I didn't. 
whose husband, William, and their child die suddenly, is adamant she is cursed and begins building the Winchester Mystery House in San Jose, California, upon advisement from a medium. You think it's kind of weird that she named it that right away? She what? just called it my house, but she called it the Not mystery the mystery house. house. Yeah. <laughs> this is the Winchester Mystery House. Uh, so for folks who don't know, this is the Winchester family who you know make the rifles and such. So lots of dough. <laughs> so what um, other things are they making besides these rifles? <laughs> community chess. <laughs> uh, very much a horror flick. I don't know if you've seen the trailer for this, but it is quite, I mean, it's they're, they're trying to scare the bejesus out of you. In the, in oh, the, man. I've got you know, too many bejesus too in me. Many of those. So take them. Take them all. <laughs> Get them all out of here. I like the historical aspect of it, but I don't know if I'll wa- I want to watch this or not. Are you are do you are you interested in the story? Or no. are you just I know the story. I'm not interested in it anymore. You're not interested. No. I the, <laughs> that because uh, some her gun because her guns killed so many people the medium said you're cursed and you got to freaking figure it out and she's like, "Oh my god." And they, then there was something about there's something it, about finishing the house, so she has finishing to keep that, building. People it. said people said that you have to keep building, but that wasn't really it. It was that it it was never supposed to be completed, but she didn't have to necessarily keep building. But oh. there was also always supposed to be something going on. Gotcha. So, okay. And then she well, died. I heard a podcast about this. Um, is it called "That's Why We Drink"? Uh, have yes. You heard of that show? No. Oh, it's these have two. Ga- it's these two gals. Oh Jesus. <laughs> And I don't know, I think they're in LA or something, but they do like a paranormal topic every week. Okay. And, and so they've covered this and that's where I, that's where I heard about this before. So I thought that was interesting because when I saw the title, I was like, what's that about? And then when it started playing, I, I realized what it was. So you're not going to see this. Nope. Okay. Annihilation. Oh, <laughs> I totally forgot that. I'm like, yeah, go <laughs> this ahead. Is your movie, pal. This is about Ayn Rand. Okay. That's it. It's a story of Rand. That's, that's all I got. That's it. That's all. That's all I got for you on this one. This is directed by Alex Garland, who directed, among other things, Ex Machina, which is a movie I enjoyed rather extensively. That mm-hmm. sounds really dirty because it's like got sex robots in it and shit. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I didn't mean it that way. I take that's it what, back. That's all right. Edit it out. No. What did you say that was wrong? I don't even know what you said that was I wrong. Said I enjoyed it extensively, which sounded real creepy. That's no. <laughs> they, well. No creepier than some of the other like shit you said. My, fold my fingers over. There you go. You'd rather just sit on your just sit on your heated toilet seat, dabbing the corners of my mouth. No, you just have the white crusty stuff in the corners of your mouth. Oh. No dabbing. Yeah. Did you Did you see Ex Machina? Yeah. No. Okay, it's good. I was thinking of good District movie. Nine or District Seven or. Yeah, District Nine. No, okay. Ex Machina is good. It's got Oscar Isaac and it's got my, one of my favorites. I think I heard you and Scott talk about Ex Machina a lot. We reviewed it. Okay. Yes, we did a full review of it. Uh, it's I don't remember. A- Alicia Vikander. I don't think, I don't think it was that of. good of an episode, but I just oh, remember God, you guys talked it. about it. Here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> you only pay attention. Well, see, that's the bullshit of it is. You you only care about the last 60 episodes because you were on them, but you've never heard any of them. I've heard part of one. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> How was it? Was it good? Very good. Okay, I good. was on point. <laughs> Annihilation stars Natalie Portman, Jennifer Jason Lee, Gina Rodriguez, Tessa Thompson, speaking of Creed, uh, Tuva Novotny, and Oscar Isaac. He's back. Oh. A group of soldiers enters an environmental disaster zone, and only one comes back out alive, though he is grievously injured in an oh, attempt. Oh, yes. I saw the previews for you, this. Yeah, you probably saw it when you went to see Star Wars, maybe? I don't know, because I saw Star Wars somewhere. They don't show previews, Matt. Oh, they don't do previews, do they? Shit. No. Fine. And no food. Sucker. In an attempt to save his <laughs> life, <laughs> his wife, Lena, a biologist, volunteers for a second expedition into the zone to figure out what happened to him. Okay. So you've seen the preview. Yeah. I'm, I like the idea. I know I will not see it in the theater, but I'd like to see the movie. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. I like me some Natalie Portman. And of course, like oh, I said, geez, Oscar that, Isaac. Okay, creepy. Von Creeper. Creepy. Oscar Isaac. Oscar Isaac's always good. Uh, Tessa Thompson was great in Creed. I'm in for that. Sounds good. I'm real interested to see what this movie's about. All right, Ready? let's hear it. Yeah, tell me. The 1517 to Paris. Pauly Shore's comeback. He stars in this. <laughs> this is about a helicopter pilot. Okay. Who's got 15 to 17 minutes. They don't exactly know. <laughs> to get from... 
Saudi Arabia to Paris, to Paris in a helicopter. He's got 15 to 17 hours, minutes, minutes. hours, minutes. minutes. It's a, dude. It's all about the helicopter. This is That's, like that Air Wolf cooking. meets Blue Thunder meets, meets Kit. Uh, well, I was gonna say meets. Uh, what's the one with uh, the S seventy one? We just hopped on the same at the same time. My butt's <laughs> getting so sweaty insane. in this goddamn chair. What's the Clint Eastwood Firefox? Firefox. Remember that? That was a plane, though. It was, but yeah. you know, is that the one you had to know all the the commands in German? Think Russian. Russian. Yeah. So Pauly Shore, <laughs> right? Starring in it, directing it. Good to see him back. Uh, uh produced by J.J. Abrams and Jerry Bruckheimer. Is Brennan Fraser or Stephen Baldwin in this? No. Okay. No, this is a legit movie, bro. Don't, oh, sorry. Don't freaking tear oh, it Brennan down. Fraser's not in legit movies now? Not, no, not for a while. Have you seen School Ties? <laughs> <laughs> yes, and so it's it's a high action, fun oh, packed. It's kind of like Fast and Furious with helicopters because the Russians, funny you bring it up, are trying to keep him from doing it because if he does it, he wins Russia. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's pretty good. I mean, no one's a ever lot on the line anything there. like this. Yeah. Does he want to win Short Russia? Is dynamic. Yeah, because then he can he he can sell it. He he's gonna make it like a tropical paradise, mm. like a giant. Just think of of like Tahiti. Or but a cold, icy place. Oh, no, he changes all that. Oh, he does? Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, no, it's going to be legit. Serious. And is he going to talk like the old Polly Shore, or this is still like normal? Oh, my God. Seriously, Matt? (sighs) Just see the movie. Just do yourself a favor. Anyway, it's it's already got Oscar buzz. (laughs) I'm sure it does. Everybody else in it, besides Polly Shore, has the name Oscar in their name. All the men and women. Some of their middle name. Oscar De La Hoya is in it. Wow. Oscar Renteria. Oscar Isaac. Oscar Isaac. I'm mm-hmm. sure there's some some ladies with Oscar or they're married to an Oscar and know an or, Oscar. Or women who have won Oscars. That you know what? I think that's right. I didn't do the research on that, but I'm gonna go with Oscar the Grouch. Meryl Streep is the leader of Russia. <laughs> I'm just she she now is just, now I'm now I'm just talking nonsense. I yeah, don't want to no, discredit your movie no. here. But she is she is the king of Saudi Arabia. She's the king of Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Great. The one who starts this, because she, 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 she <laughs> buys Russia and puts it up for grabs for Polish oh, Shore. Seven, 15 God to 17 damn. minutes. I, I, He's got to do it in that window, I, not before, not there, after. There is so much going on in this movie. I don't know if I can be able to keep track. Yeah. And, and of course, soundtrack. Oh, don't even start. Imagine Nickelback. Dragons. Nickelback. The 1517 to Paris is directed by Clint Eastwood, speaking of Firefox. Stars Anthony Sadler, Alex Scarlatos, Spencer Stone. Anthony Sadler? No, I think you mean Adam Sandler. Mm, maybe it's his brother. <laughs> Elliot Sadler, maybe the race car driver. <laughs> it's Elliot Sadler's brother. Right. Alex Scarlatos, Spencer Stone, Judy Greer, Jenna Fisher, and Ray Corazzini. Now, the first three guys you've probably never heard of, and that's because they're the real guys who did this. Okay. And they starred in the movie. Oh, cool. And they're the helicopter pilots? Three Americans face a terrorist attack aboard a train bound for Paris. Oh, I saw the previews for this, no too. No mention of Polly Shore, but who knows? Maybe they just were... Maybe they don't Polly want to Polly Shore was the movie. terrorist. <laughs> 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 it looks really interesting. I mean, it's obviously a true story, and it's a, it was an interesting choice for Clint Eastwood to have the three guys who did it actually star in it. Is he going to have an empty chair there? <laughs> I don't think there's going to be an empty chair. No. <laughs> the part of the empty chair will be played by Polly Shore. Yeah. Anyway, so any interest in seeing that? Um, Kind of, but I know I won't. Yeah. That sounds like one that you caught it on cable or something. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? You kind of stumbled into it. It looks I interesting. Mean, I just don't know that I'll necessarily rush out to see it. Yeah. I mean, we're we're not talking real heroes. They're not sports. They're not athletes. Or anything, so. <laughs> real heroes. <laughs> All right, I got two more. I can't wait to see hear what you're going to say on this one. Ready? All right. mm-hmm. Driving while black. Oh. Would you you're like gonna... a minute? No, no, no. I'm I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. This is from... We, we've gotten a few of these, but this is from the car's perspective mm. of what it's like when you're the only black car on the road. Mm. Yeah. I mean, There's just... two different ways I thought you were going to go with that, and those were neither of them. <laughs> go ahead. So it's... It, I mean, because... Let's face it, black cars 
freaking sexy. Mm-hmm. I have one. So it's it's that it's dealing, not sexy, but it's black. It's dealing with all of the hype of having to live up to being the sexiest car on the road. It's the pressures that are are you know put upon this vehicle. Not only hard to by, keep it clean. Not only by family, but by the other cars. And it's it's you know do you want to always be on top? It's do you, you make room for your family for you know wanting to squirt out some baby cars. Wanting to uh, to take I like the to baby be on cars bottom, usually right to take the baby cars to like their little baby racing and all of that and it's 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 a touching film it's brutally <laughs> honest um, the car is pretty it's like a cross between like a Lamborghini and a Jetta it's pretty cool Whoa. pretty wicked yeah that's a weird combo um, six wheels mm. it's yeah it's a, it's a, I mean stuff nobody has seen. Is that Nobody like is that like spread out evenly or like two four in the back, two in the front? Oh no, all six are in front. It just drags the back <laughs> and the whole time. <laughs> no wonder it's hard. Life is hard. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. It's it's two in back, uh four in back, two in front. Yeah, makes sense. And it can when crab you, walk. When you <laughs> when you first started at first, I thought you were gonna say something. I thought you were gonna turn this into some sort of Dale Earnhardt senior thing. Oh, that's then good I thought you were gonna go. When it was the car's perspective, I thought for sure you were going to go with Kit. Oh, no, no. This is legit. This, this is, is what legit. cars go through. Yeah. This ain't Kit. This only, is legit. That's only ta- black car on the road. That's the tagline <laughs> that of the movie. Is, that is it. <laughs> mm. This is And there's no oh. humans in it. Oh, so this is like Cars, the animated movie, but this is a... It's uh, not animated. It's... No, that's what I'm saying. It's... it's, it's Don't, don't, don't bring this down. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. <laughs> it's actually directed by uh, Speed McQueen. <laughs> <laughs> it's live action, but cars only. Gotcha. Uh, no, uh, well, kind of. Oh my god! There are people in the background because you got to make it. You know, they, you got because there's cardboard always butts cutouts. in the seat. Mark Wahlberg is that what he said? <laughs> no, he said cardboard cutouts. But Mark Wahlberg would work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> only the Wahlbergs are in it. Donnie, Mark. <laughs> only the Wahlbergs, and then what's that other? Uh, and the Baldwins. It's Wahlbergs and Baldwins. And Baldwins. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, the Waldmans. Uh, dr- so Driving While Black is directed by Paul Sapiano. It is uh, stars Dominique Purdy, Shella Tahada, and John Mead. So this is a comedy about the extra layer of police hassle that the young black man faces while driving. Dimitri delivers pizza for a living, but he's offered a job driving a Hollywood tour bus. This film explores, with love, the black experience and everyday interactions with the police. Now, if you watch the trailer, it's poking fun at a lot of the stuff. Obviously, right. it's bringing to light... I mean, not to like, I think most people are aware of this, but this issue, but it's also kind of poking fun at some of it. Yeah. It looks really interesting. It looks kind of funny too. I'll probably see it. it yeah, I it mean, when pretty, it's at home. Um, it looks pretty good. But I always yeah, I have a weird time when they when they take a serious social issue and, and uh-huh. if, if it pokes too much fun at it, then I, I oftentimes feel like people that are a little bit racist end up laughing not with the joke but at the people like ha 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 sucks to be you it's the dave Chappelle issue right exactly that's why he walked away from his show right because he felt like white guys were laughing a little too hard like he was he was making it worse than making instead of making fun of it he was actually like perpetuating it too much or something right that and the pressure of having a 50 million dollar paycheck maybe yeah but he ended up getting it have you seen his comedy specials uh-huh. lately it's been pretty funny pretty it's good, good. Anyway, last one. Ready? Game night. Game night. This is kind of like uh, Hunger Games, mm. but it's uh, it's one family. Okay. And it starts with a six months old, and it goes up to like a ninety three year old grandma. There's uh, sixteen people, and uh, they have to fight to the death in their living room while playing monopoly and they can Whoa. only use monopoly pieces but <laughs> someone has to win the game oh my god yeah you gotta kill people with the pieces yeah that so little like freaking you can... dog what do you think the well, six month old is gonna choke on or i was gonna say yeah that or could you just take like a whole handful of hotels and just jam them down somebody's throat <laughs> exactly oh and i forgot to say game is spelled g-a-y-m-e because that's also their last name of the family mm. you know a little play on words I'm going to slit somebody's wrist with one of those dollars. Right. With the money. Yeah. The, and uh, so <laughs> <laughs> choking on myself. <clears throat> this is uh, this is directed by Danica Patrick. Oh, OK. Mm. Is Aaron Rodgers involved at all? Oh, he plays a six month old baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> With a, a lot of people beard. said, you know, the big joke is, oh, you should have Tom Brady play it. But come on, people. Right. Let's let's be real. Yeah. Uh, so this is directed I'm by. I'm not done yet. Oh, sorry. Uh, what's, what's the guy who plays Medina? Medea. Medea. Anyway, he plays the grandmother in it. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Anything else? I'll think of something, but go ahead. Okay. <laughs> okay. Tell us your lies now. Directed by John Francis Daly and Jonathan Goldstein, who Wrong. Uh, wrote the last Spider-Man Wrong. movie. Wrong. China. <laughs> <laughs> wrote the last Spider-Man movie and the Vacation reboot. Is that the Marvel movie you didn't see? That's the one I did see. I did see Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Such a bastard. This stars Jason Bateman, Rachel McAdams, Kyle Chandler, Billy Magnuson, Jesse Plemons, Jeffrey Wright, and Chelsea Peretti. Oh, I mean, I like the cast. Good cast. A group of friends meet regu- regularly for their game night, and one night they find themselves investigating an actual murder mystery. I think Annalise will be all over this. This looks pretty good. I saw the trailer. It looks very entertaining. I'm in then. All right. There you go. I think you're in on most of those, or at least half. Well, yeah, I mean, some, some like that, like I said, that fake hero movie I'm not going to see. That's fake news. <laughs> fake hero. That's fake <laughs> news. You're going to see Annihilation. You're going to see Black Panther, and you're going to see Driving While Black and Game Night. So there you Black, go. Black Panther, probably in the theater, right. if not at Skywalker. Driving While Black, for sure, yeah. but at home. Annihilation at home. Annihilation will be at home. And then there was the one that, and, and Game Night, Game Night, probably at home but looking forward to it Mm -hmm. and then there was one that i said if it came on the tv and it was just kind of on in the background uh winchester no 1517 to paris which one was that again (laughs) Polly shore yes that would be the one (laughs) (laughs) oh shit okay Mm -hmm. that is all we have this week thank you for listening to our show thank you for talking Thank you, Neil. <laughs> we will be back next week with a brand new episode talking about the Super Bowl. Maybe talking about my trip because I, I went on a little trip. Mm-hmm. You'd be you tripping. Know? I'd be tripping. So we'll talk a little bit about that. And don't Look forget for... episode 200 live don't f- in your yes, face. St- live in your face, February 3rd, 3 p.m. Pacific. We're going to jam it in there. All your questions, all your comments. So please Mixler. send them to us. What? Mixler. Mixler. Yeah. Did I not say Mixler? Oh, I don't know. I wasn't okay. listening. It's on Mixer. Texting. You never listen to me. <laughs> Send us anything you got to reasons are several at gmail.com. It, whether that be audio, text, whatever, you can also tweet at us. I'm at reasons are. Neil is at Angels Freak 7. Please go out to iTunes and Stitcher and, and subscribe and, and write a review and all that stuff. Find You can find our website, reasons are several.com. I still, still, still need to fucking figure out a goddamn store. I have not done that yet. Okay. We'll do that. I need to, I need to get that sorted, so I will do that soon because I know... People are champing at the bit. Okay, old-timey guy. <laughs> anyway, we'll be back next week. Good talking to you, Neil. See ya. Later.